So uh, what is bottom-up parsing? Parsing reveals uh, the grammatical structure of linear input text. Bottom-up parsing recognizes the text lowest level small details first before its mid-level structures and leaving the highest level overall structure to last. Bottom-up parsing is sometimes done by backtracking, but much more commonly, bottom-up parsing is done by a shift-reduced parser uh, such as an LALR parser. Uh, sh shift reduce parser. What is shift reduce parsing? Uh, in shift reduce parsing, uh, we use two unique steps for bottom up parsing. These steps uh, are shift step and reduce step. In shift step, uh, we refer uh, to the advancement of the input pointer uh, to the next input symbol, which is called the shifted symbol. This symbol is pushed onto the stack. Uh, the shifted symbol is treated as a single node of the parse tree. In reduce step, uh, the parse, when the parser finds a complete grammar rule, uh, RHS, and replaces it with LHS, it is known as reduce step. This occurs when uh, the top of the stack contains a handle. To reduce, a pop function is performed on the stack which uh, pops off the handle and replaces it with LHS non-terminal symbol. Available uh, bottom-up parsers, uh, so we uh, see uh, these are the available bottom-up parsers, shift-reduce parsers, LR parsing, and SLR parsing, LR parser, and LLR parser. Uh, what is LR parser? Uh, the LR parser is a non-recursive shift-reduce bottom-up parser. It uh, uses a wide uh, class of context-free grammar, which makes it the most efficient syntax analysis technique. LR parsers are also known as LRK parsers, where L stands for uh, the left to right scanning of the input, and R stands for uh, the construction of rightmost derivation in reverse, and K denotes the number of look ahead symbols to make decisions. So here uh, we can see a skeletal algorithm of LR parser. Uh, so uh, we, ca we can see uh, the push function and the pop function are being performed. So LR1 parsing, various steps involved in LR1 parsing. For the given input string, we first need to write a context-free grammar. The second step is checking the ambiguity of the grammar. Third is adding ad adjustment production in the given grammar. Fourth is creating a canonical collection of LR0 items. Fifth is drawing a data flow diagram or DFD as we know. Uh, sixth is constructing a LR1 parsing table. Second is uh, SLR1 parsing. So uh, we know that SLR1 parsing refers to a simple LR parsing. It is same as LR0 parsing and the only difference is that the parsing table uh, to construct SLR1 parsing table, we use canonical collections of LR0 item. In the SLR1 parsing, we place the reduce move only in the following left hand side. The various steps that are involved in SLR parsing are, for the given input string, write a context free grammar, check the ambiguity of the grammar, add uh, augment production in the given grammar, Create canonical collection of LR0 items, draw a data flow diagram or DFD, construct a SLR1 parsing table. The third pars uh, LR1 pa LR parsing is CLR1 parsing. CLR refers to canonical look ahead or CLR parsing. Uh, it is used in canonical collection of LR1 items to build the CLR. One parsing table. CLR1 parsing table produces the more number of states as compared to SLR parsing. In CLR1, we place the reduce node only in the look ahead symbols. The various steps that are involved in CLR parsing are for the given input string, write a context free grammar, take the ambiguity of the grammar, add uh, augment. Production in the given grammar, 
create canonical collection of LR1 items, draw the data flow diagram, and construct a CLR1 parsing table. Now, the fourth uh, is LALR1 parsing. The LALR1 parsing refers to lookhead LR. To construct the LALR1 parsing table, we use the canonical collection of LR1 items. In the LALR1 parsing, the LR1 items which have the same production but different lookaheads are combined to form a single set of items. LLR1 parsing is the same as CLR1 parsing and the only difference is its parsing table. So the benefits of LR parsing. Many programming languages use some variations of an LR parser. It should be noted that C++ and Perl are exceptions to it. LR parser can be implemented very efficiently. Of all the parsers that scan their symbols from left to right, LR parsers detect syntactic errors as soon as possible. Which of the following statement is true? So here the option C is correct. The canonical LR parser is more powerful than LALR parser. Question was asked. Uh, the question is. Consider the SLR1 and LALR1 parsing tables for a context-free grammar. Which of the following statements is are true? Uh, so the correct statement uh, would be the shift entries are identical in both the tables. Uh, thank you uh, to SRC sir. And thank you, Michelle, after this. Thank you thank very much. You.